meetings as a result of clash between rival court groups. There was a meeting called by some stakeholders of all the heads of the various court groups in the state under the name of Rainbow Coalition to put an end to the rampart killing and robbery in the state. It was gathered that heads of the various groups met 16th of November in a hotel in Jiaroe where they all resolved to put away their swords and allow peace to reign in the state. The 18 suspects that were forcefully released last month from the two correctional centers in Benin City had engaged in armed robberies and kidnappings in various parts of Edo State. We have been able to arrest 16 members of the various court groups and of course, I, as I said earlier, for us to have respite, we would need to effect the arrest of escapees from the two correctional centers. We have embarked on that and we have uh, a number of them with us here. Breakdown of arrest made so far are uh, 14 armed robbery suspects, 16 suspected courtists and Today, we are going to discuss the recent happenings in Edo State after the NSAS protest. Insecurity is now the order of the day as court groups and hoodlums took over the streets in Edo State to take advantage of the insecurity status in the state. After days of killings that led to the death of about 37 persons as a result of clash between rival court groups, there was a meeting called by some stakeholders of all the heads of the various court groups in the state under the name of Rainbow Coalition to put an end to the rampart killing and robbery in the state. It was gathered that heads of the various groups met 16th of November in a hotel in Jiaroe where they all resolved to put away their swords and allow peace to reign in the state. They also said and agreed to pay compensation to those who clashed that led to the violent killings. It was reported that an insider said the meeting started on Monday 16th of November and was concluded on Tuesday morning 17th of November. They all concluded in the meeting and agreed to stop the killings and that all heads should call their boys to order and anybody in the fight and killing that is being caught, all the group members will jointly deal with that person. But despite this meeting by the heads of all the courtist group, there is still killing and robbery going on in a dual state. As at 18th of November, several persons were reported to have been gunned down and robbery increased in different parts of the state. Cases of robberies have continued as residents of Lucky Way Upper Mission Extension and adjoining street in Bini City were subjected to robberies all through Monday 16th of October 9th. They also robbed a car owner which they later used in other armed robbery operations. The ravaging armed robbers later drove towards Beni Auchi Road with all the snatched cars for the evening. Residents locked themselves up in their various houses with the fear that the armed robbers might return to the area. In reaction to this, the Edo State Police Department swung into action in curbing the menace of armed robbers and suspected courtists in the state. On Wednesday, 18th of November 2020, the police paraded 18 persons who escaped from the prison during the heat of the NSAS protest. 14 suspected armed robbers and about 16 courtists who have been alleged to have been part of the killings and violence in those state for the past weeks. While speaking to the newsmen in the state police command, the commissioner of police, Johnson Kukumo, said many of the prison escapees have been rearrested. According to reports, some were arrested in Edo State, some in Ondo, and others in Lagos State. To this end, the police and other security agencies, in conjunction with the state government, put machineries in place to checkmate the activities of these rampaging hoodlums, which have yielded some positive results. The police commissioner also mentioned that those arrested are part of those that burned down Oba Market in Edo State, Benin City. He also assured of adequate security in the state.
There are several comments from the citizens of Edo State saying that it is not just those who escaped from prison that are carrying out these killings and armed robbery, but other court group members or individuals who have never had the opportunity to come out in broad daylight to perpetrate this evil act are hiding under the prison escapees to cause mayhem in the state. Well, we're going to pause here for now to come back with more news on Nebo TV. Don't go off. My name remains Agbachi Onome. Stay safe. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.